Hello and welcome back to another Hey Techie Smart Home video. If you're new here, you're very welcome to my channel. My name is Steven and today I'll be taking a look at the IKEA Home Smart range. Before we begin talking about anything else, I just want to make it clear that this is not a paid sponsorship or anything of that nature. I'm offering my own views and opinions on a product that I've bought and I've been using for about a month now. After the release of the cheaper HomePod Mini last month, there's a lot more people out there looking at incorporating Apple and its associated HomeKit into their smart home. Now that includes me, by the way, who actually stripped back almost all of my smart devices to accommodate the Apple ecosystem because I'm already deeply invested in it. The problem with HomeKit as the basis for your smart home, however, is the cost. For a variety of reasons, products that support HomeKit are almost always more expensive than those that operate on a Google or Amazon Assistant platform. As a result, this has put a lot of people off considering Apple a genuine player in the smart home market. However, as this sector continues to grow into 2021, I think the HomePod Mini represents the turning of the tide here. With a much cheaper entry point onto the market, the HomePod Mini is the best way to bring an Apple-supported HomeKit hub into the home. Now sure, you could also use an Apple TV, or use a dedicated iPad for this purpose as well, but they're even more expensive alternatives. So in the relatively expensive world of HomeKit, who could be the saviour of the day? Enter IKEA. Naming their system after the Swedish word for wireless, the furniture manufacturer launched the Trad Free Smart Home range back in 2018. Now that range was rebranded to the IKEA Home Smart last year, and the app was refreshed to reflect the rebrand. The IKEA Home Smart is a budget-friendly alternative to the likes of Hive Active Light or the Philips Hue range, but its cheap price have left many wondering, is it a waste of money? So that's the question that I'm going to be looking at today, is this system value for money? And I'm going to be highlighting how you could use it in your HomeKit setup. Like many other smart home setups, the IKEA Home Smart range is anchored using a gateway and steering device. You don't technically need one of these, you can operate IKEA devices with their own remote controls, but if you want to have any sort of app or smart home control, you definitely will need one. With its sleek circular design, the gateway plugs into the mains and connects to your wireless router via an ethernet cable. That's when the steering device, in this case this little guy, comes in. Because there are a couple of different steering devices available in the IKEA range, they are all sold separately from the gateway, so watch out for that if you do choose to invest in this setup. Another great thing to note is that the entire IKEA range is Zigbee compliant, so your IKEA bulbs will work along aside existing setups like Philips Hue. The setup of the gateway and steering device is pretty simple. After downloading the IKEA Home Smart Range app to your smart home and scanning the QR code on the back of the gateway with your phone's camera, you'll then need to connect the gateway and steering device. By holding the connect button right next to the gateway, the two will pair fairly quickly. You just need to be sure that you keep the two devices very close to one another whilst that process is done. For those of you who are less tech savvy, IKEA do provide pretty decent instructions about how to do this in the app. Once it's ready, that's where all the fun stuff comes in. What can you connect to this? IKEA offers a decent range of compatible devices. The IKEA lineup includes various smart light bulbs of different types, design, lighting panels, smart plugs, motion sensors, speaker systems, and even house blinds. The steering device is how you can connect all of the smart devices to the gateway. It's important to note that without a steering device, you'll not be able to connect any other devices to the new system without one, so make sure once you're done with using it, you don't lose it. Thankfully though, IKEA being the wonderful designers that they are, included screw holes to attach it to the furniture, as well as it being magnetic so you can attach it to the fridge or some other appliance. To connect a smart bulb, plug it into a compatible light fitting and power it on press and hold the connect button on the steering device again whilst holding it close to the bulb. This can be tricky if you're installing ceiling lights, but thankfully the pairing process in my experience is quite quick. It's important to note that you can only pair one bulb at a time though. You do only need to do it once, so in the grand scheme of things it's not that inconvenient. The pairing process is nearly exactly the same for a smart plug. 
Once it's plugged into an outlet, use the steering device to connect it to the gateway. My only critique of these smart plugs is that they are pretty bulky, and there are plenty of more elegant designs out there on the market. Whilst other reviewers have previously commented on the difficulty of pairing bulbs and plugs to the system, I can't say that I shared in that experience. In fact, unlike any smart home devices I've owned before, the setup worked for me the very first time I tried it. And in fact, it worked again the second time when I reset up the whole system when making this video. In total, the gateway took about 10 minutes to set up, and that included syncing the steering device, and then it took only 5 minutes to set up two bulbs and two smart plugs. It's important to remember that all of these products work, first and foremost, on IKEA's own native app. The app itself is pretty basic, but here you can do most of the things you might expect of a smart home platform. Turn supported devices on and off, set times, schedule routines, all that kind of thing. Some big features are lacking though. For example, you cannot control your IKEA devices away from home. You must be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection as the gateway when using the IKEA smart home app. However, there is a fix for this. Enter Apple. By connecting your IKEA smart home setup to the Apple Home app, or to Google or Amazon's apps for that matter too, it circumnavigates this shortcoming. Whilst there can be a delay of about a second for commands sent from a 4G or different Wi-Fi connection, the commands do eventually go through. To connect the IKEA Home Smart to HomeKit, enter the unique HomeKit number of your IKEA Gateway, which is also found on the back, into the Apple Home app, whilst being on the same Wi-Fi connection, and your IKEA setup is instantly ported across for use in the Home app and for use via Siri. It's absolutely genius. It should be noted that the steering device won't work with HomeKit, however, but it remains functional with the IKEA app. Now in truth, after setting up the smart bulbs and plugs, I've hardly touched this device anyway, so you probably won't see it as a huge loss. When using the Apple Home app to control your IKEA devices, you gain all the functionality you'd expect from a HomeKit device. You can control lights together in a group, which is great if you have more than one light in the room, for example. Using force touch or a long press, you can also set a percentage of brightness for bulbs. If you happen to have a colour changing bulb, you can also do that here. Alternatively, of course, you can also ask Siri via any of your Apple devices. Commands typically work very well with Siri. You can also name your smart plugs, which makes you feel like you have a very futuristic setting. For example, in my own setup, I've plugged in a mini heater and the television into my smart plugs, and with the simple command of, hey techie, turn the TV on, the smart plug switches on, thus turning the TV on, so it all feels very natural. Now you can use Siri and the Apple Home app functionality without a dedicated HomeKit hub, either a HomePod mini, Apple TV, or dedicated iPad in the home, but the functionality will be limited. Whilst voice commands still work well, you are unable to access automations, one of my favourite features. Now yes, whilst you can do some automations within the IKEA HomeSmart app itself, it's far more extensive with HomePod. For example, you can set up a geofence around your home, triggering certain routines and sequences. So for example, when I leave the house, all the lights and appliances turn themselves off. Upon my return, the lights come on, the TV comes on, and the heater switches on for just 15 minutes. If you want to be extremely cheeky too, you can just copy features from the IKEA app, such as their rise and shine function, which gradually turns up the lights in the bedroom in the morning. So with all of that being said, how much does all of this cost? Obviously the overall cost of your IKEA setup is going to depend on how many devices you're connecting to it, but the gateway itself is actually highly affordable. Usually priced at £25 in the UK, it's currently available for £22. Now yes, you will need to factor in a steering device into the cost of your initial setup too, which can add on another £10 to £12, but all in all, it's still a lot more affordable compared to the likes of, say, Philips Hue. Again, the accompanying bulbs are also cheap. At present, you can get smart bulbs for as low as £6 each, which is an absolute bargain, again, compared to competitors on the market. 
The great thing is that the IKEA range really functions just as well. When it's integrated with HomeKit, the whole experience is very, very positive. Having had the setup running for about a month now, there's only been a few times where I've had any issues at all, and that's because the IKEA devices were being updated automatically in the background. For those of you who aren't Apple fans, you can also integrate the IKEA system with both Amazon and Google as well, so this really is a product with mass appeal. So what's my verdict then? Why would you choose this setup? The big attraction to the IKEA Home Smart range is the price, and that is the bottom line. The IKEA Home Smart range is outstanding value for the price, especially for HomeKit enthusiasts who are usually limited to pricey alternatives. There are some limitations to IKEA's own gadgets. For example, they still don't offer bayonet bulbs, though they do sell some ugly but functional adapters, and they don't offer many bulbs with an RGB colour scheme. However, if you're not too concerned with colour spectrum bulbs, I really can't fault this system, especially if you're going to be using it with a new HomePod mini setup. Whilst the fact that you need a dedicated steering device to set up the whole system is a bit annoying, the gateway steering device combo costs less than £35 at present, and with bulbs costing as low as £6 each, and smart plugs at £8, it represents tremendous value, especially if you're just starting out on your smart home. The bulbs themselves last up to 25,000 hours according to IKEA, and are extremely energy efficient as well, so they'll save on the electric bill too if you've been using traditional bulbs. By adding in a HomePod Mini into the setup, you'll also be making up for the limited functionality of the native IKEA app, whilst also benefiting from the Apple Home app's automation features. Now, whilst I had no problems myself setting up this system, it's important to acknowledge that many other reviewers online have expressed their concerns and difficulties with setting up the system. Now maybe I got lucky, but having installed the system twice, I did find it very straightforward and the IKEA app guides you through it well. Importantly, if you're looking to use this setup with your HomePod Mini, connecting the two systems together really couldn't be any easier. There you have it folks, that's my thoughts on the IKEA Home Smart range. Do any of you already have this smart home setup already? Having watched this, is it something you'd consider buying for your home? I want to know, I want to hear from you, so let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead, hit that like button, and don't forget to click the subscribe button too, and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notifications whenever my new videos go live. I'll be releasing a new video every single Wednesday, so make sure to come back again and check them out. In the meantime though, you can check out my previous videos here. I've been Steven for Hey Techie.